Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm wearing my Sandforce shirt and that is because I am testing a Sandforce controlled SSD. This is the Kingston HyperX 240 gigabyte SSD. I have the full Kingston HyperX upgrade kit version with me here. Uh, there's also a bare drive version of this available. For the purposes of this video, the drives themselves are identical. So I'll show you what comes in the bare drive kit as well as what comes all included in the upgrade kit here. So let's start off with a closer look at the box itself. Uh, 240 gig model, as mentioned, this is a 2.5 inch serial ATA revision, three, six gigabit per second drive. This is the upgrade kit version here. It is Sandforce driven. It uses a SF2281 controller, one of the newest and fastest ones available. Uh, Kingston also offers 24 seven tech support and a three year manufacturer's warranty. And now for a quick unboxing to show you guys what is included. You have, of course, the HyperX 240 gig SSD by itself, and we'll take an up-close look at that in just a moment. You get some delicious gray soft foam padding. And um, for those of you who are purchasing the bare drive version of this, you will get the SSD itself over here. You'll also get this 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch adapter. So you can mount your 2.5 inch drive to this and then mount that in a 3.5 inch drive in your case. You also get the required screws that you'll need to mount the drive to the adapter and the adapter to your case. So that's what's included in the bare drive version of this. If you are purchasing the HyperX upgrade kit, you will also get some handy software. You get an installation guide on there. You also get a copy of Acronis True Image HD migration software. So that will help you take, for, for instance, your existing Windows installation and transfer it over to your new SSD. So for an upgrade kit, very handy to have. You also get this little guy here. This is a USB enclosure, 2.5 inch, so you can mount your HyperX SSD into there. You can plug it in via USB, and then you can use that to easily migrate from your old system. Uh, of course, for that USB enclosure, you also get a USB cable. This looks to be US 2.0, the USB 2.0. Next up, you get a serial ATA cable, so you can properly connect your SSD to your motherboard. And then finally, you get this, which is uh, a screwdriver. Little pen version of a screwdriver. It's got three little adapters on there, uh, a couple Phillips head and a flat head. They pop right in there, and it's magnetized to hold it in place. So that is your upgrade kit. If you're purchasing that version of this drive, you will get all these little accessories as well. And here is a close-up look at the drive itself. And having worked with several SSDs, I can say this is one of the first ones I've seen that they've really, uh, they've done a good job with the aesthetics for it. They've paid a little bit more attention to making the drive look good. You have your raised HyperX logo up here in the top left. In the lower right, you have your Kingston logo. It's got a brushed metal finish. Uh, over the surface of the drive here on the gray area and then sort of a rubberized blue area going around the outside with the, some highlights. It looks pretty nice. On the back you can see that it has a bit of a graphite textured finish. There's your Kingston logo with your drive information. It's 240 gigs. And then here at the back we can see our serial ATA power and data ports. Again, serial ATA revision 3, 6 gigabit per second, and make sure you plug it into that kind of port if you want to maximize the drive's potential. And now, welcome to my test bench area. I've been running some benchmarks on the Kingston HyperX here, and I'm happy to say I have some results for you. But first, our test bed over here, we are running on a Gigabyte Z68X UD7 motherboard. We have connected the Kingston HyperX to the Z68 chipset, so we're using the native uh, serial ATA revision 3 6 gigabit per second controller integrated in the Z68. We also have a uh, Intel Core i7-2600K CPU. We ran three benchmark tests. So for starters, let's pull up our AS SSD results. Uh, these are both the same test. Just here on the left, we have our megabytes per second. And on the right, we have our input output operations per second. So we can see our sequential read speeds, 510 megabytes per second writes just shy of 300 megabytes per second. Uh, these are very solid numbers across the board. We can also see our access time of 0 0.061 milliseconds for reads and 0.21 for writes. Overall score of 691, which is a very high score. 
If we head over to our uh, input output operations per second, the 64 threaded tests are the ones that really stress out the drive and we can see 45,000 IOPS for reads and 58,521 IOPS for writes. Let us move on and take a look at our Crystal Dismark test results. Uh, we're using version 3.01. We ran a 1,000 megabyte test. Uh, similar results here to our AS SSD test, 506.7 megabytes per second for reads, 306.2 for writes, uh, 444 and 304 for our 512K test, 32.9 and 73.1 for our 4K test, and 213 and 249 for our QDEP32. Bear those numbers in mind and head over here to our detailed test results here in the text file, and you can see uh, the rated input output operations per second that they state on the box for this device, 60,000 we broke there with that test, and for the random reads, 51,999. Again, some very impressive scores for the HyperX. Lastly, I ran Atto, which is the uh, disk benchmark software that they have. I ran three different tests with this, uh, with the 64K, test size 512K and 256 megabytes. Uh, these charts are a little bit smaller, so maybe more difficult to read, but this number here is 500 megabytes per second, and this is 600. And in this test, you can really see the write numbers uh, start to shine as, as well as the reads. Uh, if you were looking at the stated read and write capabilities on the box that were 480 megabytes per second, and here with this test, we're hitting over 500 megabytes per second with both writes and we're hitting uh, with with writes we're hitting uh, actually 550 megabytes per second with reads. Uh, same sort of same type of results over here with the 512k tests, uh, similar to the 64k, and then finally the default test size 256 megabytes over there on the right. Again, uh, breaking 500 megabytes per second for reads and writes all across the board once we get past the 256k transfer size. And that's going to wrap it up for today's unboxing, overview, and benchmarks of this SSD. This has been the Kingston HyperX 240 gig SSD. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel for more tech videos just like it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.